Hello guys, welcome back to another family travel vlog. This week we're answering the question, should you visit the Cambodian islands in 2023? So stick around and come with us from the border town of Koh Kong to the islands of Koh Rong and Koh Rong San Mam and find out whether we think they're worth adding to your 2023 Southeast Asia itinerary. We'll share some handy travel tips for Cambodia and I've put all the links to all the places that we stayed, transport tours, things like that in the description as well. So if you need any further information, head there. This is Koh Kong. We spent one night here after we crossed the border in a really dodgy hotel. Then we transferred our money to Real and organised some haircuts for Trent and the girls. I'm just telling the guy here he needs an Aussie flag instead of an American flag for his cape and clearly he has no clue what I'm talking about. We hightailed it out of Koh Kong to see Anukville the very next morning. We took a private taxi which was 90 US dollars and it was five painful hours on the bumpiest, dodgiest roads we've ever been on. We're in Seenupville. We found a very nice little um, guest house. Yeah, away from the, the busy city of Seenupville. We had a lovely night's sleep last night because the bed was really comfortable. So it'd be sad to leave the bed, but not sad to leave Seenupville. The currency in Cambodia is absolutely crazy. The first night that we got here, we were charged in US dollars. I paid in Thai baht and he gave me the change in Cambodian real. And I have absolutely no idea what it cost in Aussie dollars. Well, if you get money out at an ATM, you'll get US dollars. I was charged a US $5, which at $500, $5 is 1%. So still cheaper than using your card in places, which will charge three or 4% on top. Welcome to crazy Tuk Tuk Rides, Cambodia edition. Five people in the Tuk Tuk. I'll try and show you some of seeing up film now. Oh my god! It's all muddy because of all the rain. Bye bye little guest house! <laughs> so this is seeing up film in 2023. Part um, high rise city, part abandoned town, part construction zone. It's crazy. In the last few years, 70 Chinese casinos built here. Coffee, and then we're going to wander up Otre Beach because this is the area that we would have come to back in 2009 they were moving backpacking around everybody was raving about seeing Oakville and how great it was in Oak Tree Beach um, but in the end we didn't do it having seen what's happened to it and how it is now I'm really sad that we didn't get to see it and it was in its heyday the beach still looks quite nice so we'll have a wander along and I'll take some footage and we'll, we'll show you Oak Tree Beach now It looks like a really nice beach. I can only imagine what it would have been like before it was developed like this. Um, if you've been to see a Nookville before it was developed like this, let me know in the comments what it was like. And we're going to get the ferry across to Korong. Come with us to Korong. We'll see you there. We booked our open-ended return ferry ticket to the islands through our accommodation with Bouvacy Ferry. It cost 23 USD per adult and 15 USD per child under 10. Decide where you're going to go to first before you book the ferry because depending on which pier you go to will depend on which company you need to use. We've just arrived on Koh Touch Beach on Koh Rong which is the main beach here. Yeah. This is in Cambodia. This is Korong. Do you think they might have a Korite? <laughs> Not yet. Why you stay?
We've made it to our accommodation. The first one we went to, which we'd booked, was nothing like the pictures on booking.com. And it was disgusting. The whole place smelled like urine. The window was cracked. There was a puddle of water on the floor. The beds were hard as a rock. It hadn't been cleaned. There was dirty toothbrushes on the sink. Um, it so. Like us. <laughs> So we quickly left there and we had a walk along the beach. It's called the Dream Resort, I think. It's by far the most expensive room we've had in Asia this whole time. And it is still quite busy. So Korong so far we're finding to be quite expensive. Costing us 65 US a night, which equates to about 91, 50 Aussie dollars a night. So yeah, that's the, I mean, the most we've spent in the whole of Thailand was I think $67 a night and that was really quite a good quality of accommodation. The village itself at Koh Touch, I was surprised by how um, dirty and smelly and run down it is, not what I was expecting at all. This is Long Beach on Koh Rong. It was a one kilometer walk from where we were staying and it was a little bit nicer than the main beach. We've moved on to Koh Rong Samlam, which is the sister island of Koh Rong. We left yesterday on a long tail boat. It cost us 25 US dollars for the five of us to go across and it took an hour. Probably would have took less except the boat driver saw a big fish that he wanted to catch on the way over and did a U-turn and a circle in it for about 20 minutes and unfortunately he didn't catch the fish. It's much nicer than Koh Rong. We didn't really rate Koh Rong. We found it to be not very family friendly. Right now where we're walking we saw a monkey jumping onto trees. Yeah, so we're just taking the walk across from Saracen Bay to Lazy Bay. We've got three nights here in Saracen Bay. We're staying at the Sara Resort. Expect to pay double what you would pay elsewhere and the standards to be lower here on the island. We went last night to the Big Easy. They were having a party for their fourth birthday and that was lovely. They had a little DJ playing. It was a nice sunset couple of drinks I'll take a video of the actual beach so you can see it later it is beautiful the sands lovely and white the water's clear um, but there is a lot of trash on the beaches here as well which is a shame So this is Lazy Beach. Looks a bit cleaner, do you think? Yes. Yeah. Mm. So today is day three and we are trekking across to Sunset Beach. It's, it's a very hot day. It's a little bit climate. steep and rocky and a bit of a trek. So there's no actual roads on Karong Samlam. This is it. If you want to go around the island, you can either trek like this or you can get a taxi boat or there's like little tractor things that seem to be ferrying people up and down the beach and around the island. They're pretty big. But this is more fun, I reckon. I'm tired. This is a bit like the monkey track in Aonang. Is it much further, guys? Yeah, a little bit steep. Is it? It's a little bit steep at the end. Is it worth it? Yeah, it's a really beautiful beach. Much better than the other side. Yeah. Alright. Thank you. Sunset Beach and Sleeping Trees in Chemical. I've no idea what that is. I'm assuming some accommodation, perhaps. So we're going to go this way Sunset Beach. After this trek, oh. oi, we'll be spending the day. Right, <laughs> putting this away now because I need both hands. <laughs> we made it. Well, well done, kids. Let's see if this beach was worth it. Nice? Nice beach? Oh yeah. Should we go and sit in the shade over there?
When you're ready to leave the islands, just organise it with your accommodation one day before and make sure you've still got your return ticket. So do we recommend visiting the Cambodian islands of Koh Rong and Koh Rong San Lam in 2023? Personally, we probably wouldn't come to this area again. The plastic pollution was not great. Uh, the accommodation standard wasn't quite up to scratch. Prices were inflated. A lot of the businesses seemed to be closed. I'd say there was only maybe less than half of what used to be there open now at the moment. So if you are coming to this area, I would definitely say try to spend as little time as possible in St. Uckville. Maybe skip Korong altogether unless you're a young backpacker who wants to party all night and just go straight to Korong San Lam and maybe try and get some accommodation either at Lazy Beach or Sunset Beach. Thanks guys, see you in the next one.